The Institutional Web Management Workshop, or IWMW to use its better known abbreviation, was set up in 1997. I set it up in order to provide a forum for web managers to hear about new developments and to share best practices. It's been running annually ever since and this year, on the 26th to the 28th of June, it will be held at the University of Bath, the 17th in the series. There are a number of themes. We start off with the theme of opportunities and openness with C Cable Green, the Director of Global Learning at Creative Commons, uh, giving the opening talk. In the afternoon, we have a theme of how the web can be used to support the key institutional drivers of teaching and learning and research. Kiriaki, the Head of eLearning here at the University of Bath, will be talking about MOOCs, the massive open online courses. And Amber Thomas at the University of Warwick will be talking about ways in which research information can be integrated and made available via web services. On the next day, the themes will be the user experience, technical developments, and the view from commercial providers. There'll be a fun social events on that, uh, that evening. Will be a, there'll be a reception at the Roman Baths. There are two themes on the final day. The first theme is use of social media to support marketing and user engagement, two institutional case studies. And then finally, we'll be looking at the, the future, what the future holds. There'll be a talk on the delicious discomfort of not knowing which will be a fascinating talk from a well-known international speaker. And then finally, we'll be looking at the future, the future of the event and the future of the web management community. A question I'm often asked is, what is the future for the IWMW event in the light of the cessation of Yukon's core funding? It's a very good question, and I'm currently involved in exploring sustainability options for the event.